Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Or if you happen to be a new viewer here or a current viewer that hasn't subscribed yet, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest Star Trek, sci-fi, TV, news on YouTube. So last week I put out a video on Babylon 5 and how it's returning to our TV screens under the command of uh, J. Michael Straczynski, which is fantastic news. And i got to say, the response from you guys has been amazing. Clearly this is really huge news for all you sci-fi fans out there because my video on this topic got like five, five times more views than any other video I'd done recently. So clearly it's a hot topic at the moment of conversation. And we're going to go into add a bit more today and talk about the various uh, announcements that JMS has been kind of referring to when he's been speaking about other ex-B5 cast members who have said that they've been approached to participate in the uh, the reboot series in some capacity, which I think is really good news. For the most part, I think the news that the show is coming back is just amazing news for everybody. There's been a few people in the comment section and we've had a ton of comments uh, from my first video on, on this subject. If you haven't by any chance seen that, click up here and you can have a look at that video uh, from last week. But the announcement has got most people just happy that Babylon 5 is returning. It's been a little bit split between people sort of saying, I'd like a continuation versus a reboot series. But when you think about it, a continuation series wouldn't really work from the point of view of firstly at the end of Babylon 5 they blew up the station. There is no Babylon 5. It got exploded at the end of the season. And as we all know with the opening voiceovers that played out in every season of the show it always said this is the story of the last of the Babylon stations. The year is whatever. The, the place is Babylon 5. The last of the Babylon stations. You can't do a continuation. B5 has been, been blown up and there's no more Babylon stations. In which case, you either got to do a reboot or you got to do a prequel. And I think as we spoke about last week, just on the basis that, you know, probably more than 50% of the original cast have uh, tragically died since the series concluded. Look, I'm, I'm for a reboot. I, I, I think providing it's helmed by JMS, it's going to be a, a good show. So I read that on Twitter, JMS has sort of basically said that he's been in touch with pretty much all all of the original cast that are still with us. He's spoken to, you know, Bruce Boxleit, and you know, Claudia Christian, you know, Billy Moomy, Patricia Tolman, uh, amongst others. And he's basically said to them, uh, if the show gets up, I want you to be a part of the show in some capacity. Which is interesting because I think it's going to be fantastic to see some of the original cast return in this new B5 series. But the question is, how do you do that in a way that it's not overly distracting. I think one way to do that is to cast actors who played human characters to play alien characters in the new show. You could make Claudia Christian a nan. <laughs> you could make Billy Moomy a human character. He could be one of the uh, Earth Alliance new cast members. A few people have sort of said you could make Bruce Boxleitner President Clark or something like that. Although I don't think Bruce Bro Boxleitner as President Clark would work that well. I think I'd much rather see Peter Jurisic uh, as President Clark uh, rather than Bruce Boxleitner. I think that would be much better casting. Turn some of our human and Earth Alliance characters into Centauri or Nan or Mimbari uh, and turn some of our previously alien characters uh, into humans. I think Battlestar Galactica did it quite well in the way they cast Richard Hatch as a, as a different role in the more recent Battlestar Galactica reboot. And we even saw in the current Lost in Space reboot series that Billy Moomy made an appearance as uh, Dr. Zachary Smith. Uh, as in that, even though it was a very short appearance and it wasn't in any way distracting for that show. So there's been plenty of good examples, you know, from, from Lost in Space to Battlestar Galactica of really well done sci-fi series that have got the reboot treatment. In terms of our actors who are still alive in the B5 series, obviously Bruce Boxleitner, Claudia Christian, Andrea Thompson, Bill Moomy, uh, Robert Russler, uh, Jason Carter, Patricia Tolman, Tracy Scoggins. I think all of those supporting cast members would be very easy to find roles for. I think it's the primary cast members, such as Bruce Boxleitner and Claudia Christian, that you really got to get the right role for these guys on this show. Because they were such iconic leads of the original series, I think they would need to be cast 
in roles that aren't going to be distracting. Can you imagine seeing, um, you know, Claudia Christian as a, I don't know, female centauri or uh, or something like that maybe? One actor I would like to see who played a guest role in Babylon 5 was Jeffrey Coombs, who played Harriman Gray as a uh, psychop in the first season of Babylon 5. I think he would make an excellent choice uh, for the role of Bester. Walter Koenig's probably getting a little bit old to play Bester, but I think uh, Jeffrey Coombs would make an excellent replacement. But whatever JMS does with the story for this new Babylon 5 reboot, I think you've got to pretty much wipe the slate clean because there are so many iconic story beats in the original series to do with the Shadow War, to do with the, the uh, you know, identity reveals of various characters that, you know, that ha had our minds blown at the time. I think you can't really repeat these because the audience is going to know what's coming. For all of the, the hardcore uh, Bab 5 fans that are out there and are going to watch the show, you can't repeat all the same tricks. You've got to create new tricks, but still playing in the same sandbox. We've got to still see all of the same races. You, you, you've got to still have, you know, Mimbari characters. You've got to have Narn. You've got to have Centauri. you probably got to have the Rangers. You've got to have the Earth Alliance. Not to mention the Shadows and the Vorlon. Speaking of Vorlon, maybe Bruce Boxleitner can play Ambassador Kosh. <laughs> I think that would be maybe, you know, an interesting uh, spin on things perhaps. But whichever way you look at it, it is certainly amazing news that Babylon 5 is returning and the 40,000 plus views on my video last week and all the outpourings of love and support by the fan community uh, in the comments th thread of that video just, just shows how much people love Babylon 5 and what welcome news it is that it's going to be returning to TV if you know if done well, helmed by JMS and that the CW uh, uh, respects the original and, uh, and, and gives JMS the latitude he needs to do the show properly as it should be done. So guys, what do you think? What roles would you like to see some of the original cast members from B5 play in this new reboot series? Or maybe you've got some thoughts as to current actors out there who might be good to play existing roles such as John Sheridan, Susan Ivanova, Michael Garibaldi, Londo, Jakar, any of those. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me who you think, you know, Bruce Boxleitner should play, Claudia Christian, you know, um, Patricia Tullman, Peter Jurisic, any of these roles, people uh, who are still with us and can uh, participate in the new show. Let me know what, uh, what you'd like to see them as, what characters, what um, races you think would work best. Guys, please leave a super thanks if you're able to. It really helps support the channel. If you can't, just like and comment uh, or share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already done so or check out my merch store uh, with a link in the description where you can pick up some great sci-fi TV themed t-shirts there um, for a great bargain price. Until next time, I'll catch you guys very soon for my next video. See you soon.